Say, I got news for the devil tonight. We not gonna be deceived. We not going we not gonna be knocked off of our tracks. We are not gonna walk through life aimlessly because we have a comforter which is the Holy Ghost. I said we have a comforter. That word comforter has several meanings. That word comforter actually means intercessor. He helps us intercede when we don't know how or what to pray for as we ought. Romans 8 26 says likewise the spirit also helps our infirmities for when we know not what we should pray for as we ought the Holy Ghost himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. That's when the Holy Ghost moves on you to pray in tongues, to pray in the spirit. When you don't know what to pray for, it's time to pray in the Holy Ghost. Man, I feel a little preach coming here. See, the Bible makes this statement. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, the Bible says, for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh Speak it not unto men, but unto God, how be it in the spirit. He speaketh mysteries. Listen here. When you don't know what to pray for, as you ought to. And I believe I'm preaching and teaching some people on this live webinar tonight. You have no doubt faced with situations that you don't have answers for. You don't even have the words to pray the thing out in English. Listen here, friend. It's time to pray in the Holy Ghost. That's why the Apostle Paul in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, the Apostle Paul says praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. He said praying in the Holy Ghost. When you don't know what to pray for as you ought to pray when you know that something is disturbing you and you can't put your finger on it it's time to pray in other tongues it's time to pray in the spirit the book of Jude verse 20 puts it like this but you beloved building up yourself on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost as we pray in the Holy Spirit the Bible says we are speaking mysteries before God the word mysteries right there means divine secrets. Are you listening to me? When you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, God would begin to reveal divine secrets to you. God will begin to give you insight. He would begin to give you supernatural wisdom, supernatural knowledge, supernatural understanding, so you would know how to solve the problem on your job, how to solve the problem in your family, how to solve the problem in your marriage, how to solve the problem in a financial situation. It's time to pray in the Holy Ghost. That's when the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes on us. And his language isn't just praying in tongues. Sometimes his language is just a, a brokenness would come upon you. And the anointing of the Holy Ghost would sweep over your soul. And you would find yourself with your hands lifted to heaven and tears just streaming down your face. You can't even talk. You can't even pray in tongues. But all you can do is sit there with a brokenness and tears are coming down out of your eyes. I'll tell you what, that's another way the Holy Ghost speaks through us and communicate to us. That's what the Bible says in the book of Romans. The Bible says, but he has sent forth the spirit of his dear son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. That's why sometimes in this webinar, listening to the word of God preached under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, sometimes a brokenness would touch down. You're not even expecting it. And before you know it, wham, tears are coming down on your eyes. Your eyes. Tears are coming down on your eyes. Your hands are lifted to heaven. The weights begin to lift from off of your shoulder. That's the Holy Ghost. I say it's the Holy Ghost coming through for you. I say it's the Holy Ghost lifting your burdens. I say it's the Holy Ghost breaking shackles. It's the Holy Ghost comforting your troubled heart. It's the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven to give us direction in the situation that we are faced with. That's how I can say last week Monday night uh, when the anointing of the Holy Ghost fell that's how I can say someone's about to get a 24 hour miracle how can Pastor Sean make a statement like that and within 24 hours Sister Paula Catino gets a job interview and another 24 hours after that she got a job didn't have one in 10 years how, how, how did that happen I'll tell you how it happened because the Holy Ghost my God I feel this I said because the Holy Ghost uh, he is 
is a helper, the Holy Ghost. He will show you things to come. The Holy Ghost is here to guide us. When a door is closed in your face, the Holy Ghost will guide you to the right door. He will guide you to the open door. That's how I met my wife in Bible college. The Holy Spirit touched my heart and opened my eyes and he said, that beautiful woman, she is going to be your wife. Glory to God. Listen, I want to warn everybody, before you get married, before you make that commitment, you better make sure it's God. You better seek direction from the Holy Ghost because if it ain't God, the Holy Ghost, he will put a check in your spirit. That's how you know when you're around phony folk, the Holy Spirit will make you real uneasy around certain people. That's a warning sign from the Holy Ghost that that person may want to harm you. And listen, another way you can know that something is wrong, some of you right on this call, you, you try to fit in with certain people. You try to gel with them, but you can't gel with them. That's a sign to you from the Holy Ghost that that person is trouble. I believe I'm preaching to somebody on this webinar tonight. The Holy Ghost is warning you. Some of us say it's a check in our spirit. That's the Holy Ghost. Some of you get an irrit uh, irrit uh, irritable feeling on the inside of you when you get around certain people. That's the Holy Ghost letting you know don't put your, let your God down. You can't trust certain people. Are you still here? The Bible says when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you. He will guide you. He will guide you into all truth. Glory to God. He will guide you. I say he will guide you. If those people on the job, if they're trying to set you up to cause you to be demoted, to cause you to lose your job, the Holy Ghost will touch you. He will, he will quicken you in your spirit. He will just put a nudge in you. You can't trust this person. You can't say that to that person. They're going to leak it out. Oh, glory to God. Aren't you happy that we serve a God that loves us enough to put the very spirit of his son Jesus on the inside of us. I said the Holy Ghost, he lives in us. Why don't you lift your hands to heaven and say, God, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. I'll not be denied. I'll not be deceived. They can't lead me astray. The trap they dig for me, it ain't gonna work. I ain't gonna fall into the trap because I'm led by the Holy Ghost. Romans 8 14 says, for those those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. He will warn you. He will steer you like we drive our cars. He will lead you in the right path. Glory to God. I feel this tonight. So he, he will be a comforter, which is intercessor, advocate, teacher, helper. The word advocate means one who pleads another's cause before a judge. He will be our teacher. He will be the one to instruct you. He's our helper. He's called to our side. He's called to our aid. Are you still there? Let me just show this to you here. Let's, let's move on. I feel, the, I feel the anointing. Glory to God. I don't know how far we're going to get with this tonight. If, if, if we don't get to finish this, we're going to just have to continue this tomorrow. But I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost, he will show you things to come. I said the Holy Ghost. I said the Holy Ghost will show you things to come. That's why the Holy Ghost, he may warn some of you. Listen, if you dream about an alligator or a shark or, or some type of creature that have a big mouth, you dream that this type of creature was trying to bite you. That's the Holy Spirit. He is warning you. He is showing you that someone's putting their mouth on you. You know, or if you see that creature in a dream opening their mouth wide, it's the Holy Ghost warning you and showing you that some people are opening their mouth wide against you. But I got news for the devil. The Bible says no weapon that is formed against us shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise against us in judgment, we so can Condemn it. I condemn every negative word spoken over your life right now. Every negative curse spoken over you to cause you to, to lose your job or to lose something that God's about to do in your life or to try to destroy your marriage or break up a good relationship. I rebuke rebuke every negative word. I release anointed words of the Holy Spirit over your life, over your profession, over your job, over your career, over your ministry, over your position, over your marriage. I cover it in the blood. I cover it right now in the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. 
So I want to show something to you here. Let's go to our point number three. I want to show you different ways that the Holy Spirit lead us. Man, I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I said I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I don't know what I'll do without him. We, we'd be, we would be lost without the Holy Ghost. But because we have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, he will guide us. He's not going, he's not going to leave us there lost and confused. Confusion ain't God. I tell you what, confusion is a work of the devil because the Bible says where there's confusion, every evil work is being manifested in that atmosphere. That's why be aware of people that you feel like you always got to be explaining yourself to them. Man, listen, if you're around people and everything you say, they misunderstanding you, that ain't God. You better run. Are you hearing me? Every time you walk, listen, now the Holy Ghost showing me something here. That this is why I'm going down this line here. Every time you come from around certain people, you're wondering, did I say the right thing? Did I hurt their feelings? Did... Listen, there ain't nothing wrong with you, brother, sister. Something's wrong with those people. That's those people's spirit affecting you, making you feel like, and, and some, people, some people would even try to make you feel dumb, like, like something's wrong with you. There ain't nothing wrong with you. Everything's right with you. You got the Holy Ghost. You anointed, you full of the word of God. You fear God. You are living a life that's upright before God. Anytime you come from around people and you feel like that and you begin to question yourself, you're around the wrong folk. Are you listening to me? I'm talking to someone here tonight. I said you're around the wrong people. Run away from them. Especially you try to share certain things with them. You're excited and happy about what God's doing in your life. And you go to share it with some people and all of a sudden... You can just feel in your heart that what you are saying is not being received. Run away from those kind of people. They will destroy your faith. They will destroy what God's doing in your life. Quit explaining yourself. If you got to keep on explaining yourself, like I said, run away from them folks. Run far from them. You know the Bible makes this statement in the book of Proverbs. The Bible says, a wise man foresees the evil and he hides himself. A wise man foresees the evil and he hides himself. What in the world is that scripture saying? I'll tell you what it's saying. In friendships with certain people, you can sense, man, I don't feel like I need to be in, in friendship with this person. I feel like this friendship is going to lead to trouble. Listen, if the Holy Ghost is putting that in your heart, get away from that person. Listen to what the Bible says, a wise man foresees. That's the Holy Ghost showing you something to come. He is showing you certain people do not need to be in your inner circle. On our YouTube channel, I preach a message called seven types of negative people God will remove from your life. You need to get a hold of that. Our YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Miracle Healing Center. YouTube.com forward slash Miracle Healing Center. Listen, seven types of negative people that God will remove from your life. You need to go listen to those messages and I believe God will use it mightily to encourage you. So let's look at this. One of the things the Holy Ghost does is he reveals. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 25 through 31. It says, and behold, there was a man, Luke chapter 2, verse 25 through 31, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem. Listen, let's just lift our voices and praise God. I feel the Holy Spirit uh, taking me in a little different direction. Come on, let's just worship God. Let's thank God for the Holy Ghost. If we gotta, if we gotta pick up tomorrow and pick up where we left off today, we'll do it. But come on, let's just let's just lift our hands to heaven. Lord Jesus, we worship you. God, we thank you for the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody, let's thank Him for the Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you that you didn't leave us as orphans, God. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for placing him in our lives to reveal the truth of the word of God to us. Thank you for putting the Holy Ghost in us to make us feel uneasy around untrustworthy people. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, God, that speaks directly to us, that also speaks to us through your man and through your man and woman servants, God. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. God, we promise you, we will never take the Holy Spirit for granted. We will never take the anointing for granted. We will